Hey guys, it's time for our second update on the Aliens Power Loader build. In the last episode, we talked about the design and started plasma cutting some of the steel for the first arm. Let's finish cutting those pieces, go shopping for some hydraulic parts, get it assembled, welded, and then, well, we can do our first hydraulics test. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on social media, at The Hacksmith, for real-time updates on our projects. Alright, but the steel weighs 600 pounds. There's only two of us here, so hopefully we don't die. Doing there, Boggin. So right now we're exploring all the remaining DXFs for the 3 8 steel. And then we'll be able to start welding! And then we'll be welding forever! I just gotta make sure that all of these don't intersect. before the plasma cutter tries to cut it. I'm not going in there. I guess I have to. plates, so we brought them back in the software, but we also had to re-zero the machine because it ran into the cupboards, so well, hopefully it's going to work. That is the bicep of the power loader. Oh my god. <laughs> Bicep number two. Center. Center. Why do you want me to carry you? Here, you only go to the gym. So we got our motor. The weakest one of all the options. Yes, but it comes with a remote and a valve bank built in. To be useful for future hydraulic projects that we can still use this for. Right. We got the fluid. Got a bigger reservoir because that is tiny. Got our two cylinders and our final solenoid valve. Get happy, Buck. No, I want the bigger motor. This is only fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff for testing. <laughs> One arm. One arm. Let's move that when we get the steel. First came here back in two thousand and seven. Paid right for. Steel. Yeah, it's five hundred dollars of steel now. Look at all the steel. This is the bicep hydraulic cylinder. You can put out 30,000 pounds. 20 liters of hydraulic fluid. <laughs> As you can imagine, building a giant hydraulic power loader from Aliens is a pretty expensive endeavor. I believe that shopping trip alone was well over $1,000 by itself. And that wasn't even all the parts we need. 
Because of that, we're super grateful for our sponsors who enable us to take on these engineering challenges in order to make awesome videos for you guys. This video sponsor is World of Warships, who helped make building this arm possible. World of Warships is a free-to-play online game that takes wit and expert strategy to dominate the seven seas. It's the perfect balance between both action and strategy, which really makes it a thinking man's action game. You get to command a massive naval fleet with some of history's most iconic war vessels. With changing weather and over 30 million players worldwide, no two missions will ever be alike. What I like most about the game is the attention to detail. The game models are super accurate because they actually base them off of real-life 3D scans of the ships. And, with over 200 ships from 11 nations, there are so many different ways to play. Updates are constant, which ensure new experiences, new missions, game updates, and special events. Play today using my link below and the code PLAYLANGLEY2019, and you'll receive 1 million credits to premium USS Langley aircraft carrier, 3 days premium time, and more. The aircraft carrier allows for a completely different form of fast-paced World of Warships gameplay. Plus, by downloading it, you ensure our channel can afford to keep building this massive power load. This bushing's a little tight, so I'm gonna fix it. That's better. As the wrist joint. As long as I got my tolerances right, it should just fit into place. Why do we make such heavy projects? All right, it's time to look at some of the hydraulics for the power loader. Now, funny enough, my first job out of engineering school was actually designing hydraulic systems for uh, injection molding machines for a company called Athena Automation. So I have actually done some of this stuff before a long time ago, but I've never actually assembled it myself, so it should be interesting. But right now we've got our manifold block, which we can connect three closed center directional control valves to and basically we're able to control up to three cylinders from this block. So I've got all these fittings which we need to put in there, which then can connect to these hoses, and then we can connect everything together to the pump, and hypothetically move some oil around. Let's go. Alright, so we can tighten this guy in. It's quite tight. And a snug. Let's see what this looks like. So for testing, we got some pre-made hydraulic hoses, uh, standard lengths. This one's three feet long. I got some four foot long ones. When we finalize the design, we'll get custom length hydraulic hoses. Okay, next cylinder. Oh, the mechanical portions 
are done now, which means we can do a test fit and potentially test the hydraulics. The bar to me and you lift, Ben can uh, hopefully line it. And this is the tricky part. We have to put the valves on the inside of the arm, catch this manifold block. Pretty slick. All right, so we got the valve bank installed now. We just have to add in the wires. Just gonna install these plugs. All right, so all the fittings in the manifold block are tight now, which means when we add the hoses, we just have to tighten those. I think we still have to tighten those. But this is the evidence of me saying everything is tight. So hopefully nothing bad. And then, hopefully this isn't too difficult to... Okay. That's how engineering is done. Okay, so we got a pressure gauge. We got a manifold connected to the hydraulic pump. We have one remote right here. Uh, the pump has a built-in two-stage valve bank. So pressuring one way, pressure out the other. We'll just be doing one way because we're adding pressure here and then we're using these valve banks to then control the individual cylinders. And because they're closed center, we only have to attach four hoses. We just have to never press the other button. Don't press the button. Now whatever you do, don't push this button. No! Now that's the button that will kill everyone! I'm using hydraulics. Let the record state this was Bogdan's idea to extend the cylinder before attaching the arm. So, pressing this button turns pump on. This is still not great, but everything else is alright. <laughs> it's not gonna crash into itself, right? Wow. Alright, so this arm can curl. It curls around six to eight thousand pounds. So that means we could actually hold a six thousand pound barbell right here. Uh, it's more than a car weighs, so with both arms we should actually be able to lift or flip a car. Oh, after a week of work, it wasn't finally, even a week. What was Wednesday, it day after Thursday, week? Friday, Saturday. We built this in five days. I didn't think we could do it. Everything works, which means we have to take it apart again, clean it up a little bit more, paint it, drill some more holes, um, and then we can put it back together again. And then it's done for now until we build the other one, and then we build the body. Knowing how much work and effort went into this, and just not even like building it, just assembling it, just putting everything on while it's super heavy and really cumbersome. It took two hours just to assemble. Two hours of footage the editors go through. Oh yeah, this is a temporary test hydraulic system, that's why it's so slow. It's just so we can test to make sure the hydraulics work. In the end, we're probably gonna actually have like a gas engine on the back of the mech and it will have a much higher flow rate so the arm will actually be like <laughs> Alright, and that's the end of whatever part of the video. Alright, it's really starting to come together. So like I said last video, we're going to be releasing one video on the series per month, going into a little bit more detail on the project than we normally do for our videos. It is an extremely big project, so we're going to do our best to stay ahead on this project to ensure you guys get consistent updates once a month. But if you're dying to see more, make sure you follow us on Instagram where we post real-time updates as we work on the project. In part three, we'll be painting, reassembling the arm, and doing our first real hydraulics tests, including lifting people. After that, there'll be a video on our jaws of life, the claws of this bad boy that will be able to crush xenomorph skulls. 
Make sure you subscribe. This is our biggest and best project yet. Plus, I've got quite a bit of reading to do. 